Welcome to the Windows Channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Monday, June 26th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Yahoo Verizon deal that actually uh, kind of stirred a little controversy. As of June 30th, anybody on AT&T using email, uh, AT&T email to actually log into Yahoo services or Tumblr will be refused. Actually, you'll have to have another type of email. Now, it's not that you can't access if you're on AT&T. It's just that you won't be able to use your AT&T email address to sign in and to go to these services. Of course, this made a little uproar, but um, and, and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, here goes net neutrality. But the thing is, it would seem that this deal had been there for a long time. So uh, if you are on AT&T, want to use Yahoo services after June 30th, Better get yourself another email. Well, it seems that China government and banks are right now experimenting with cryptocurrency. That would make China the first country in the world to have its own national cryptocurrency. And that is a very interesting thing. A lot of countries are actually thinking about this. Um, among them, maybe number two would be Russia. It seems that uh, every country in the world right now is thinking of its own national cryptocurrency. Well, if you're an insider in the Windows Store, the SUSE, S-U-S-E, um, or OpenSUSE Linux distro, two versions are available, one for um, servers and one for, of course, the regular uh, distro for users. Uh, I've appeared in the Windows Store for and only for the uh, Windows Insiders. And of course, if you're on my Insider channel, check it out. I will be checking that out for sure today. Well, China, which is number one right now with its uh, supercomputers, is maybe going to stay at the top spot for a while. It apparently will actually have a exascale supercomputer that will be in service by June 2018, even more powerful than what they have right now. You know that the United States are also building one and they want to be one, you know, the top of the world with that one. That's going to be kind of interesting. It's really heating up here in the uh, supercomputer competition here. Well, YouTube has 1.5 monthly active viewers that actually log in to the service, not just looking at videos, but logging in with an account into YouTube. So this is pretty amazing. 1.5 billion monthly active viewers that's pretty cool when you think about it and you know just shows us how, how youtube is a giant of online videos well <clears throat> laptop theft is a major issue and a lot of people and a lot of companies are trying to think of ways that we could prevent uh, theft of laptops well microsoft is apparently working on a patent of an anti-theft um, device well actually it would be implemented within the laptop and even if you don't have a sim card would have the possibility to actually uh, you could disable your laptop from a distance either using cell or even Wi-Fi and you can actually render the device totally useless if you wanted that would not be a bad idea technically because think about it um, you know if these devices are turned off and don't work anymore they have no more value for uh, thieves so let's hope that basically this is going to be uh, something that could be implemented um, someday and finally a kind of a very embarrassing thing for Microsoft happened this weekend um, the register actually started saying that major parts of the Windows 10 source code that's the building block of Windows 10, had been leaked online in a huge 32 terabyte file. So a lot of security experts were a little worried because if you have the source code, you can now really do a lot of things because you know how the innards of Windows 10 actually works. Microsoft says, don't worry about it. We've looked at it and basically there's really nothing new in there. Most of the chunks of source code that appear are already uh, you know, source code that we actually have with our partners and different companies. And they say that technically the source code in there is not very, very important. 
So uh, let's hope that uh, it, it is the case. But uh, it's still embarrassing, you know, because uh, one of the things you really don't want is your source code to go out there in the wild. And so this was the Tech News Update for Monday, June 26th, 2017. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.